Hi, I'm Gary Carson, president of SFI, and this is screencast training for getting started. Before we begin, I want to emphasize that the most important thing you can do to ensure your success in SFI is to log in at the Affiliate Center every day and review the information on each of the tabs on your homepage. And of course you must use and apply this information. Now, I'm not going to go into the details on each tab right now, but each tab is designed to provide you with valuable information and guidelines for becoming a top earner in SFI. If you'll visit your tabs daily, you'll quickly learn everything you need to start building a successful SFI business. At the same time, you'll be accumulating valuable rank and income boosting Versa points. Okay, let's get back to how to get started. The first thing I want to show you is our ultra simplified overview of SFI. This is SFI in just three simple steps. Think of it as a view from 20,000 feet above. It's not a lot of details, but it lets you clearly see the core of the SFI program. So be sure to take a few moments at least and, and study this and get this in your head. You'll find the link to this page at the bottom of SFI Basics, which we're going to review next. You can get to SFI Basics from any page at the Affiliate Center. Just click this button. It's located in the header. All right, here we are on SFI Basics. This is probably the most important page for getting started. You'll notice there are four parts. Each of them are crucial to your success. You can't do just one, two, or three of these actions. You have to do at least one, two, and three. We'll talk about four, which is optional, but you have to do at least one, two, and three. Keep that in mind. Number one in SFI Basics is collecting Versa points. Follow the simple directions in this section and you can be earning hundreds of Versa points your first day and every day to come. Number two is generating sales at our e-commerce site, TripleClicks.com. To get started generating sales, you'll want to click this link right here. This is our page of methods you can use to generate sales. You'll note there are free beginner methods, also intermediate methods, and advanced methods. Review all the methods, but we recommend you start with the beginner methods and work your way up to the intermediate and advanced. Now let's return back to SFI Basics. Number three in SFI Basics is sponsoring affiliates. To get started sponsoring affiliates, you'll want to click this link. This is our page of methods you can use to sponsor affiliates. You'll note there are free beginner methods, also intermediate methods, and advanced methods. Review all of the methods, but we recommend you start with the beginner methods and work your way up to intermediate and advanced. Now let's return to S5 Basics for part four. Number four in S5 Basics is supplemental income streams. This part is optional. In fact, I recommend you focus on actions one, two, and three, especially two and three to start. As you get better acquainted with SFI, you can add these additional income streams at any time. Lastly, there are some key links at the bottom. The first is frequently asked questions about how to get started with SFI. These are the questions most asked by new affiliates, so be sure to read these. 
The second link is frequently asked questions about how to get paid, when you get paid, etc. This too is a vital information, so be sure to read it. This is also where you'll find the link to the ultra simplified version of S5 that we discussed a couple minutes ago. And finally, we have a link here to our affiliate support desk. If you ever have a question or need assistance, our 24 hour support desk is a place to go. And that's it. Many people try to make SFI way more complicated than it actually is. Don't do that. Just focus on learning and mastering the four actions in SFI basics. Remember, when you're at the Affiliate Center, SFI basics is always just a click away. The button is right here. And if you ever want to watch this Getting Started video again, just click the Start button next to it. This concludes this video. Now it's time to apply what you've learned.